Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about malware and how to prevent malware from installing on your Windows machine. Malware viruses are a big problem in the computer world. And the first thing I need to tell you is that even if a Mac friend says, oh, we don't have viruses on Macs, it's really just a Windows thing. False. The number of Mac people that I've actually uh, fixed computers that were hijacked and that have malware is there. Now, the only reason why Mac people have less chance of a virus is just because there's no viruses or almost none. Uh, there's just, you know, maybe a few hundred compared to thousands or hundreds of thousands different uh, viruses, malwares for Windows. And the reason is the Mac computer is not even 10% of the computers in the world. So if you want to write a virus or malware, you want to target the big mass, which is Windows. Um, the first thing that you need to know in a Windows machine is that no, Windows is not easy to uh, actually infect. That's not true. What makes a computer easy to infect is the fact that it's an open system. It's a computer that you can install and do anything you want. And the fact that it's open and does everything you want is the is why a computer or a PC is so flexible. But it, uh, it's also the reason why it's uh, possible to uh, infect with viruses. The number one thing to prevent viruses is you. A lot of people say, well, you know, I have antivirus. Why do I get viruses? Uh, well, you are the number one antivirus in your computer, not a software that's trying to find viruses. You are the one that clicks on things that you shouldn't. You are the one that, that prevents or that makes security problems in your own computer. Sometimes you don't know why. Sometimes there's some flaws. Sometimes maybe there's an update that's stuck. But you know what? If you see that your computer is not working as it should, updates are stuck and aren't happening and stuff like that, well, one of the first thing I'd say is get the help of a computer guy, a tech guy to fix that. Or if you don't want to, just reinstall maybe your Windows machine. Don't let problems stay the way they are because they will eventually uh, give you a lot more problems. After you, which is the major, major antivirus software, if you want, is having an antivirus installed. It could be a free one like this. Um, this one is Windows Defender on Windows 8. You also have the equivalent in Windows 7 and uh, Vista called Windows uh, Security Essentials. Or you can have AVG Free. Uh, these are okay antiviruses and if you are careful on the web they are actually enough to protect you but a paid antivirus is of course a little better and um, you know if you are doing business and your computer is really really important uh, a paid antivirus is actually a good idea and um, you can install anything from NOT32 which is a great great antivirus uh, Norton 360 is amazing in the version 2014-2015. Um, Bitdefender is another good one. Um, I'd stay away from McAfee that I don't really don't like. So installing antivirus, make sure that it's up to date. Make sure that it works well. That's the other big problem. People see that their antivirus is not up to date and they don't care. And they should care because that means you're not protected. So make sure that its updates are going well. And if it's a paid antivirus, and even some free antivirus, make sure that your subscription is in order so that everything is calm and correct. You should do regular scans from time to time. You don't necessarily need to do a full scan if everything seems normal, but at least a quick scan might be a good idea uh, you know at least once every few weeks then 
what you do on the web is important. One of the things that you have to be careful is, you know, if you download illegal movies, TV shows, music, these are all very, very dangerous things that you do on your computer. Downloading from torrents is dangerous. Downloading from any weird website, Chinese websites with TV shows and so on, this is probably um, a bad habit. And you know what? You want to save 30 bucks on downloading the latest movie instead of buying it on DVD and you get a virus and you pay 100 bucks at Tech Guy to fix it. I don't think that's a very good idea. You had, you know, the possibility to have more than one movie for a hundred bucks. So, you know, these are all things that are dangerous. In your computer, make sure Windows updates are working. That is very important. There's, I don't know where it comes from, but there's this uh, idea for some people that Windows updates are dangerous and you should never do it. Well, you have to uh, because they aren't that dangerous. They rarely cause problems, you know. Uh, one of the things that uh, I see, uh, especially on Windows 8, people say, oh, well, you know, there's a big flaw because I see all of these people telling that there's a problem here. Yeah, but if you have 100 million people with the same operating system doing the same update, even if one-tenth of 1% 1 of these have a problem, that's a very small number, one-tenth of 1%. But one tenth of one percent of a hundred million is still one hundred thousand people that have problems, and one hundred thousand people that will go on forums and say, "Hey, that update screwed my computer." Yet you are in a minority, a very very small portion, but you will voice your frustration, and so people say, "Look at all these forums about this problem." Yeah, but it's still a very small number so that's one thing you got to be careful windows updates are important you know why 90 80 to 90 percent of viruses are actually stopped just by the fact that every month you do your updates because a lot of these are critical and important updates that fix flaws windows is a piece of software made by humans humans aren't perfect so there are flaws in the code and as you know, regularly people find flaws in that code. They'll alert Microsoft. Microsoft will do fixes. And every month we have our Patch Tuesday. And Patch Tuesday does fix a lot of those problems. And you know what? If you update your computer um, regularly every month, you already are uh, you know leaving behind at least 80 to 90 percent of viruses that just can't infect your machine because it do, they don't have any flaws. So, uh, you know, make sure that you go into your control panel and check for updates. And um, if you're not sure if you have all the updates, go into the uh, view update history and check if you have the latest updates for the month. We are in November 2014 right now. You should have updates written as November. Make sure that you do all the updates. If you see optional updates, like here there's one optional, one important optional updates aren't required just do the important updates that's what you really want and that's very important make sure you update software that requires updates so for example if you have adobe flash adobe reader uh, these are uh, java these are all up uh, software that are also used to infect machines when they have flaws and that's why they update their software regularly make sure you have the latest updates of all of these and don't uh, click and you know false spots on the internet to download them make sure you go to the website if you want to have flash player or adobe reader you go to adobe.com write it directly on your address bar adobe.com and make sure that you go into the downloads at the bottom there's a little downloads thing just click there and make sure then you click Adobe Reader or Adobe Flash Player if you need it never click a link on a website that says oh there's an update for that and an example that I have is here Flash Player 
a Flash Player Pro update is required for this download. This is really, really a piece of a website that's trying to lure you into installing something that is definitely malware. Make sure you never click any links that want you to upgrade your browser. Very dangerous. Make sure you never do that. Go to the website directly and make sure you do it yourself. I actually recommend that you delete Java from your computer. Remove it in the control panel and um, the programs and features. Make sure you uninstall every version of it. There might be two, three, four different versions if, uh, in your uh, download, in your uh, programs and features uh, tab. So make sure you remove everything. Java is not required most of the time today. And it is a dangerous piece of software because Java is a programming language and a lot of viruses actually are programmed in Java to infect your machine. And if you leave Java, uh, you know, you don't update it regularly, you can have a virus from here. And lately it's been very dangerous. So I recommend now that everybody removes Java from their computer. There are some cases where Java is required. If they are, go to java.com yourself. Type java.com uh, at the top and, you know, click the free Java download. Make sure you have the latest version. Today we are at 8, version 8, update 25. Make sure you have that. Uh, and uninstall every old update you see in the programs and features to make sure that you have only the latest update. And when it asks you for an update in your taskbar, make sure that you actually click on it and install it. Java has this annoying way of actually asking you for updates. People just click on it and say, oh, where? I've installed. No, you haven't installed. When you clicked on it in the taskbar, all you did was give the permission to the next step is installing Java. And people are kind of uh, mixed up with that. So, um, you know, go to java.com and download it and remove everything that's older on your programs and features from Java. But like I said, if you don't need Java, remove everything. Uh, maybe the question you'll have is, yeah, but how do I know if I need it or not? Well, you'll probably have to d remove it from your computer to know if you need it or not. But it doesn't matter because if you remove everything and you go into java.com, you can re-download it easily. Another thing to be careful is when you download a piece of software, uh, make sure you remove all the check marks of everything it wants to install. For example, here, if I click the um, Adobe Reader download, it says that, oh, I want to install McAfee Security Scan Plus. I don't want that. Remove the check marks everywhere where it wants to install something else than what you are downloading or installing. Make sure that these are removed the check marks so you don't install crappy software with it. Another thing that's very important, people have the, you know, the habit of actually uh, searching for the software. So for example, a lot of people are saying, okay, well, I want to have, I need Adobe Flash. And since they don't know where it comes from, they'll go in Google and click Adobe Flash. Have you noticed something? is that look at the first website, Adobe Flash, iyogi.cc, uh, Soft Planet, download latest. That's, you see these little yellow ad buttons next to it. Never download from anywhere that it says it's an ad because they'll lure you into downloading something. Look if I click to Adobe Flash Player here on softplanet.com, it brings me here and it tells me, well, you can download it here. Yeah. And it's trying to say, well, oh, Norton secured. And well, this isn't Adobe. It's not the website from Adobe. Never download anything from here. And look at all these download now buttons. And it's kind of weird, you know. What do you do? Don't, don't click those uh, websites, you know. Go into where it should be. You see here, for example, now we have Adobe Flash Player downloads at adobe.com slash. This is the place you need to go. The real website from Adobe. This is where you want to download, uh, you know, Flash Player. So if you're not sure where to get a piece of software, 
you are better off asking a friend that actually knows more about computers than you oh where do I get Adobe Flash and you know what the best thing is oh okay it's on adobe.com go to adobe.com on the web on the uh, address bar and uh, you'll see that you can download flash from there that's how it should be done be very careful about downloads and never click anything that says ads um, a lot of clients that have malware I've noticed that they actually wanted a real, a real piece of software but they got it from a wrong website so they said okay I need iTunes and they don't you know instead of going to Apple dot com or apple.ca in Canada and download iTunes from there because it's an Apple product they search for it and sometimes you have problems we know iTunes is from Apple so make sure you're on apple.com for example to download it and so on so these are all things you need to check for and be careful and you know be careful what you do on the web be careful not to click anything be careful not to uh, you know do things that you shouldn't and you know pretty much everything should be fine uh, I don't have any malware in my computer I never have malware in my computer because I know and I obey to all the rules it's not complicated everybody that I see that don't have uh, that have malware well they don't obey to the rules they let their uh, Windows machine without updates their antivirus is not there or expired they click everything and they download everything without even looking uh, and you know if you're just careful actually a Windows machine is a pretty safe machine you don't really need to uh, to have that much of a security and you know what I use Windows Defender which is an okay antivirus but visibly not as good as a paid one but it still protects me because I don't do stuff that are dangerous for viruses and malware so hope all of these tips are helpful and uh, hope that you have a virus free computer if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to your channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen maybe you have your own little comment on how to prevent malware why not write it down in the comment section below the video and uh, hopefully you will come back to the Windows 8 channel there's a lot of videos if you have a new Windows 8 machine lots of videos to show you how to use Windows 8 thanks for watching bye bye